Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a quick sit down chat video with you and we are gonna be talking all things fall decor planning and inspiration. So it is getting near the end of August and it is really getting down to the time where I'm ready to plan out and then execute my fall decor for 2024. So today I wanna to take you through all of the different rooms that I'm going to be decorating for my videos and just kind of give you an idea of what you can expect, what my plans are for each space, the color schemes that I'm hoping to use as well as just like some design inspiration. If I can find any good inspiration photos from Pinterest or any websites like that, I'll pop them here up on the screen so you'll be able to see and kind of get excited for what you can look forward to in my clean and decorate videos. Those are going to start in just a couple of weeks. Today we're talking all about decor planning and I am going to show you I have my decor, all, all of my existing decor kind of laid out in our guest bedroom right now um, and I'll show you kind of how things are. I have everything separated by room. So I'll share that with you as well. And then in next week's video, we're going to be doing my 2024 fall decor haul. So you can see all of the new pieces that I've picked up for this year. And we'll chat a little bit about how I want to use those. And then the following week, which I expect will be the first full week of September, that's when the cleaning and decorating videos will start. So I hope you guys will consider subscribing if you haven't already. That way you won't miss any of my upcoming fall videos because we are getting started right now. <laughs> So I'm just sitting here in my living room today chatting with you guys. Um, if you hear any birds, cars, bugs outside, it is a very, very, very nice day here in East Tennessee. It's about 74 degrees outside right now and it's almost 1130. So it's very nice and that's why I have all the windows open because I want to enjoy this nice cooler weather without the AC blasting before it gets too hot. So we're doing that and then also I have a little bit of a sore throat. I think I have some allergy stuff going on which is probably not helping having the windows open but we're going with it. So yeah just bear with me through today's video but let's go ahead and talk fall decor planning. So the first space that I want to talk about which is the space that I'm going to decorate first will be my master suite area, master bedroom and bathroom. I always love starting with this space um, because it's early in the season when I decorate it and in that space I do a very unique um, color scheme. So um, first off I'm going to say that I will have linked um, in the cards and down in the description box below my fall decor marathon. Um, if you want to go back and watch that video or just kind of you can like even like fast forward through it but I put together all of my 2023 decorating videos into one long video so you can see how everything turned out last year. This year's decor will be very similar. We are going and building off of the same themes and color schemes but we are making some changes of course. So in the master bedroom bathroom that color scheme in that area already is my cat is running around and you can probably hear his jingle bell on his collar. <laughs> But in that room, we already have a navy blue, a pale green and white color scheme going on. And I actually like to keep that year round and just kind of build on it for each season. And of course, in the fall and winter months, I like to amp up like the coziness of it. So last year I did blue, green and white for fall and I really did enjoy it, but it was just missing and I found that as I've been looking at that room over the past few weeks, it's just missing some warmth. I'm craving a little bit more dimension in that space and just a little more coziness. So this year I have decided to kind of build on what I did for Christmas last year in my bedroom and for fall I'm going to be doing the blue, green and white 
but also adding in a little bit of bronzy brown kind of coppery tones just in an effort to warm it up and make it a little bit more fall like and a little bit more cozy it will still be very light and bright um, so if you are interested in decorating early in the season you won't want to miss that video because it is a really like cooling and calming decor style um, or color scheme but so yeah perfect for the earlier decorating if you want to do that but yeah i really was inspired by this early on in the season i think in july when they first started putting the fall stuff out at hobby lobby i went and was going through all the picks and i have some of that navy blue eucalyptus picks already from last year that i used in there and i just happened to pick up this like bronzy brown pick and like put it up against the blue and it just like clicked in my mind and i was like this is what i'm missing i'm missing that dimension and we do have very dark bedroom furniture in our room the furniture is like an espresso almost black tone and we're just not in a space right now where we're ready to buy all new bedroom furniture i suspect that we will in the next few years but right now we're just going with it so maybe adding in that the richer brown tones will kind of help it work with the furniture instead of the furniture being such a contrast to everything else that's in that room so that's what we're looking towards for the bedroom and i've got a lot of stuff to share with you in my haul for that room as well as i just placed an amazon order yesterday with some cozy like bedding items to add that's really going to round out the look i hope um, this the bedroom has been giving me so much like anxiety <laughs> or like stress i've been nervous about it like how am i going to make this room look good for fall um, but i think i finally collected all the pieces that i need to make it cozy and inviting for the fall season I also am planning on adding just a couple of tiny little pieces into our bathroom area. Um, if you know, our master bathroom has a, a giant tub and around the tub I have some like candles and florals and then I have floating shelves on the walls um, with some decor. And I just plan on adding in a pumpkin here or there, maybe switching out the florals to make it just work with the bedroom instead of it looking um, more like summer in there where the bedroom's going to look like fall and then of course you know i'm going to put christmas trees in the bathroom for christmas so we're just we're just going seasonal in the whole master suite area and i'm so excited about it okay the next place we're going to talk about will be the living room and the order that i'm going through these rooms is the order that i'm planning on decorating and like releasing the videos so after we finish the master suite i think we're just going to move into the living room i'm very excited to kind of tackle the main living space and make it cozy in years past i would do the bedroom and then our basement family room and um this year i'm just looking forward it's going to be more um like in september when i'm decorating this year i'm not jumping on it quite as early as i did last year so that's why i want to focus on this main living area earlier than last year but here in the living room so my house overall has a very farmhouse feel to it so i do tend to go towards that farmhouse style with every season but for fall in the living room it will be very farmhouse but i'm also planning on for fall i like to add in that little like modern touch I do have a lot of um, black pieces and like wall art in the living room. So I really pull on that and that's kind of what gives it that more modern feel in my opinion. Also in the living room, I tend to, I use a traditional fall color scheme, um, oranges, browns, that touch of black, like I said, but I also lean heavily on like a mustard yellow color here in the living room that's purely based on just um, pieces that i've gathered over the past few years and that just tends to be one of the colors that i've gone for the most and so that's just what we um, go with but this year um yeah we will be adding cozy touches here on the couch we'll be decorating the 
antique corner cabinet, my entryway table. I do have a tiered tray that I'll be styling over there as well. Um, I have picked up a few pieces that I plan on adding here in the living room that are new to me. And then I do have a, like one or two more things in mind that I'm gonna keep my eye open for that hopefully I can just wrap this up before we start decorating. If you are a home decorator, as I'm sure you are if you're watching this video, you know how kind of tricky it can be to be planning things out and like buying things, but you don't wanna to spend too much money, but you want it to look the way you want it to look but then it may not look the way you want it to look. It's so hard to kind of like plan things out without seeing it and trying it out. So yeah, that's where we are. Also, while I'm like planning all my fall decor out, my son's fourth birthday party is this coming weekend. And then his birthday is the week after that. It's like in the middle of the week. And then we are going on a beach trip. Just my husband me and my son are going on a beach trip the week of Labor Day, like we're leaving on Monday on Labor Day. So um, I got a lot going on in my brain up here. Also, um, still just rounding out my first trimester of pregnancy. So uh, yeah, it's a little scatterbrained up here. That's why I'm actually looking at a notebook over here with like my video schedule on it so I can talk about the rooms, but yeah, anyways. So in the living room, modern farmhouse, lots of mustard yellow and black. Um, that's kind of what you can expect in here. There's not a ton of spaces to decorate in the living room, um, but it's always so cozy. I love using um, the battery operated LED candles um, throughout the fall and winter months, especially. I did use them throughout the summer this year, and I do love that kind of ambiance that they give, but especially in the uh, fall and winter months, especially after the time changes. It's just so cozy to have those lit up in the evenings. So let's move on to the kitchen. After we do the living room, we're going to move straight into the kitchen. Um, our living room and kitchen spaces are kind of connected. There is a like partial wall separating, but like the dining area kind of melts into the living room and kitchen area. If you've seen my videos, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about, but I'm just giving a description if you are new here. But so that being said, I do not use straight up the same color scheme in the kitchen that I do in the living room. The kitchen is much more um, neutrals. I go very heavy on brown in the kitchen, mostly because I do have some amber glass pieces as well as some vintage brown pottery pieces that I love using in the fall time. So I rely heavily on brown in there. Also like a deep, rich, like burnt orange color. Um, and then kind of creams and tans and stuff like that. So a lot of my faux florals that I use in that space are around those color schemes. We are also going like pretty vintage in the kitchen. I have a lot of vintage, like I said, pottery pieces and I have a Courier and Ives platter that's fall scene uh, that I will be using in the kitchen. I've picked up a new artwork piece from Hobby Lobby that I plan on displaying up on the tops of my cabinets this year. So lots of things in place in there that are gonna lean more brown, more rich oranges, and then just, just neutral like creams and tans in the kitchen. So that, but, but it also works with the living room, like with the mustard and the black, like it'll all make sense when you see it. Like it's not like I just, do only mustard and black in the living room and only brown in the kitchen it all kind of melts together and it looks cohesive when it's completed so that's what we're going to do in the kitchen in the kitchen lots of fun spaces to decorate i have my hobby lobby chicken wire shelf that serves as our table centerpiece that's always fun to decorate i have my peg rail shelf love hanging cute little things on the pegs and all that um, we're going to be doing a coffee station this year, which I've done in years past, but I did not do last year. Not necessarily. Um, so we're going to be doing that. Also styling the tops of my cabinets, which I love to display um, dishes. I have two antique crocs up there that I put beautiful fall 
uh, faux floral arrangements in um, and stuff like that. So lots of fun things. We'll also be doing my occasions bin in the kitchen, which is where I display um, paper plates, napkins, fun straws, fun little containers that we use throughout the season um, to make meal times fun, snack times fun. My son is four, so he really gets a kick out of that, but I haven't gotten my fall plates and napkins yet, so <laughs> I still need to get those. I still need to make a list of like the final few things that I need to pick up, hopefully before I film my haul video. Maybe not, because I think I'm gonna film that in just a couple of days, but we'll see. You'll see it all in the end anyways. So that's what we can plan on for the kitchen. And then we are going to talk about the basement family room. So all of these I'll probably decorate within just a few days, but the videos will roll out once a week. Um, so you can expect fall decorating inspiration um, the whole month of September and into October because we will be doing fall front porch later. Uh, later in September or at the beginning of October because it's just too hot to get mums and pumpkins this early. So I have to wait about a month to do that. And then we'll be doing Halloween as well. So lots of decorating from like here till Christmas, literally just decorating the whole time. <laughs> but the um, in the basement family room, I do, I like to make that one a little bit more fun. There's a little bit more color down there. I like to put village villages down there. Like I have some um, old village, like the old school, like regular villages, not just the like little white ceramic houses. No, like actual villages that I like to put out for fall, Halloween and Christmas. Gonna do that downstairs. Love having that lit up in the evenings. We'll be styling the mantle. Um, I'll have a garland on the TV stand. I'll have lights in that, but down there I've really gone for heavy on like the fall eucalyptus. So there's very rich, like vibrant oranges, yellows down there. But this year I'm going to be adding in some burgundy down there or like a wine color. Last year, after fall was over at Hobby Lobby, I scored some stuff for 90% off at Hobby Lobby. And I got a couple of pieces that were just like that rich burgundy wine color. And I was planning things out this year and I couldn't figure out like, where am I gonna use this color? Turns out the throw blanket that I use in the basement has a stripe of that color in it, that specific color. So I'm going to be bringing in a little bit of that rich burgundy tone into our basement family room. Hopefully I can make it all look good together. Pretty sure I can. Um, I've got enough pieces I think that I can balance out. Still thinking about adding maybe a stem of that color on the mantle. Still need to work on that. But yeah, so the basement family room will be much more colorful and um, lots more fun like light up pieces in the dark because that room the main area of the basement where we have our tv doesn't have a window it's very dark in the evenings and my husband and i like to go down there and watch tv shows or movies um, after we put grant to bed so it's just so cozy when you have everything lit up down there and everything so it's a really fun space to decorate so the last space we're gonna talk about is the fall front porch. This won't come up until later in September, maybe early October. Like I said, it's just too hot usually in the month of September to buy mums and pumpkins. So I tend to wait until the, the end of September to do that. But we will be doing a fall front porch. Um, I, my front porch is one of my favorite spaces, not only to spend time, but to also style for each season. And this year we'll be scooping up lots of beautiful mums from the local garden center, lots of beautiful pumpkins to display down the steps of the front porch. And then if you saw my summer front porch video, um, you know that we have a, a new little shelf by the door that we can style and all kinds of fun stuff like that. We'll put a beautiful wreath on the door and yeah, so I'm really excited to do my fall front porch this year. Um, it is one of my favorite videos to make, but that'll be closer towards the end of September. So be sure to stay tuned for that. 
So um, those are all the spaces that I plan on decorating this year. The master bedroom, bathroom, living room, kitchen, basement family room, and then the front porch. After all those cleaning and decorating videos have been made, I will be doing a fall home tour video. I'll probably pop in a couple of pieces into the guest bathroom, um, as well as Grant's room, my son. Um, I usually put a pumpkin and he has a fall blanket in there that we'll do because he gets excited about <laughs> decorating too. So um, yeah, we'll pop a few pieces here and there, but you will be able to see all of that stuff um, in the fall home tour video. So that are that is all my plans for decorating for fall 2024 so um i'm going to take you here into our guest bedroom which won't look this way very much longer um actually this weekend after my son's birthday party my sister is coming to pick up the bedroom furniture from that room she's building a house right now so i asked her if she wanted to use that furniture so she's taking that that is my old bedroom furniture that I had when I was growing up as a kid. I think I got it when I was in like third grade. So I'm happy that she's going to be able to use it, but that is going to be the baby's room um, early next year. So I'm due in February. So we are going to be working on that nursery in the midst of all the holidays and everything. So that'll be fun. But yeah, I need to get that furniture out. So then I, I need to paint the walls and shampoo the carpet and all that stuff. So we're gonna have a busy holiday season, but yeah, let me take you in there and share with you kind of how I have all my fall decor separated and you can kind of get a sense for the themes of each room and the color schemes and how everything's gonna work out. Okay guys, so this is currently <laughs> what the guest bedroom looks like. So this is like the baby furniture, the crib and the dresser, but my sister is coming to get this chest this chest, this bed, and the nightstand. But in the middle of all that, I am trying to plan out my fall decor, so. <laughs> but let me kind of share with you how I have everything divided out, and you can kind of see the color schemes that we're going for. I'll start again here with the master bedroom. Last year was one of my first years really decorating this room. So um, I'm not actually using this pillow. I bought a new pillow cover for this one, but here you can kind of see the color scheme. We have white and green. We have some rich navy blues. These are the eucalyptus picks I was talking about and I got some more for this year. I always use this morning pumpkin pillow in my room. I love that still. Um, I'm actually not, probably not going to be using this blanket. I'm not really sure yet, but I bought some new ones for the bed. So this is kind of what you can expect. Here is kind of the pile for the living room. As you can see, the mustard yellow. We have the black coming in for that kind of more modern farmhouse look. I actually have a light up maple tree that I put on the entryway table. Love that for some soft lighting. This is one of those pieces I got on the 90% off sale at Hobby Lobby last year. So more mustard, but also just like some of this kind of orangey brown color. These were 90% off last year as well. So traditional fall colors, but yeah, really heavy on the mustard and the black. And then here in the kitchen, you kind of can't really tell. A lot of my dishes are stored in the kitchen. So you can't really tell most of the brown, but I plan on using some of these like brown Sherpa pumpkins. These would really go good in the living room too so I'm not really sure but like we have this plate from Hobby Lobby that's not really vintage it's just from Hobby Lobby this is really vintage this Courier and Ives platter and then like I said kind of the neutral just creams these are some of the florals I use in the kitchen area as well as this like neutral bouquet but then I've added in that rich deep burnt orange color so that's fun, some amber glass. So that's kind of what you can expect in the kitchen. And then for the basement family room, we have these over here. This is my village. <laughs> um, but yeah, lots of just this fall eucalyptus stuff. 
but then this is that wine slash burgundy color I was talking about and this is the blanket I was talking about so it has that wine color in it so I think this is all actually going to work together if I can make it work but then we have some artwork here we're going to use so yeah lots of fun things for the basement family room and then I also just have some random things sitting out um this is stuff I don't know where I'm going to use, maybe in the bathroom, but then I also just have my random picks here that I use for filling up small containers and in tiered trays. These are just random like tiered tray filler items that I'm not sure where I will use these either. I think this might go in the guest bathroom. That is so cute. Such a cute arrangement. And then... I also have these two rattan light up pumpkins that my mom picked up on the 90% off sale at Hobby Lobby last year. I'm not entirely sure where those are going to go yet. And then this is some scatter leaves and then this bag is full of pumpkins and pine cones that I just use everywhere. So I also have some fall front porch items still in the bin and then I have this large sign I'm not sure if that's going to go on the front porch or whatever these are maternity clothes <laughs> like this room is crazy but yeah that is how I kind of plan out my fall decor I am going to have to take all this down and put it back in the box this week so my sister can come pick up the bed but yeah that is how we are doing some decor planning this is what I do every year I don't really know what I'm going to do next year because I have used this room for decor planning since we moved into this house five years ago. And next year, there will be a little baby in here sleeping in the crib. So, I don't know how I'm going to plan my decor next year to be determined. But yeah, we will get through it, I suppose. Okay guys, that's going to be it for today's fall decor planning and inspiration video. I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope it was fun to just sit down and chat with me about fall decor. It's one of my favorite things to talk about right now. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. If you haven't already, I would love to have you join me here at Kindly Katie. I do lots and lots of seasonal decorating videos, cleaning motivation, as well as some mom life stuff sprinkled in here and there. But I would love to have you guys join me. Fall videos are starting and from here through like mid-November. It's going to be fall decor, Halloween decor, maybe a little touch of Thanksgiving, and then we'll go right into Christmas as well. So lots of decorating from here on out. I'm so excited. This is my favorite time of year. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope you'll join me for some new fall decor videos every week from here on out. But I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're excited for the upcoming fall season, and I will see you guys next week with my fall decor haul. Bye, guys.